Okay. So coming to a comfortable position on our mat, sitting maybe in Varasana, so in Hero's Pose, if you'd like. So you can switch it up, bring the block to sit just here to give yourself a little bit of cushion if this is more comfortable for you than sitting cross-legged. Um, whatever you prefer, just coming and sitting and grounding into your sit bones in whatever position you're in. Taking your hands to remove the flesh from beneath your sit bones, broaden the sacrum just a little bit. Allowing the knees to gently soften towards the earth, the hips to open. Inhale, think about reaching the crown of the head towards the sky as you ground still through your sit bones, getting longer through your spine. Maybe you gently close your eyes as you roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then holding them for five, four, three, two, one, you relax them back down with an exhale, allowing them to just shift down the back. Inhale this time, inhale them forward and up, and then exhale to let them come back, opening up through the front of the chest. Taking big inhales and exhales through your nose and your mouth. When you're ready, you're going to take your right hand and bring it to your chest, your left hand, and bring it right underneath your belly button to that lower part of your belly as we come in and settle into our breathing. Take a big inhale, fill the belly and fill your chest. Hold for just a second, open mouth, exhale, like you're trying to fog up a mirror. And then slowly thinking about feeling just your belly, your lower hand should move. And then inhale to fill just the chest. Upper hand should move. And then exhale, lower just through the abdomen. And then release the chest as well. Now that we've settled a little bit into the body, bring your right hand to sit in your left hand. Then bring thumbs to touch. Gently close the eyes and think about a red flower at the base of your spine. So bringing that intention to the base of your spine. I'm thinking of a beautiful red flower. It could be any shade of red you like. The shade of the petals it can be anything you like. Maybe long, flat. Does it look more like an orchid? Is it more of a plant with a flower? Think of the shape of this flower. And as you inhale, the flower opens. And as you exhale, the flower curls up into a bud. Bringing your attention and your focus, your breathing to that flower that you created in your mind, holding it steady there for each inhale and exhale, filling all the way to the bottom of the belly, filling into the rib cage. And then slowly imagine that this flower had roots to ground you into the earth. Imagine the roots going all the way into the bottom of the earth, almost into the ether, into source, grounding you, 
holding you. And bring us even deeper into our bodies. We're going to take the right and middle finger of our index of our right hand. So the index finger and middle finger of our right hand and bring it right in between our eyebrows. And taking that left ring finger, we're going to, so taking that ring finger, we're going to cover our left nostril. So inhale through your right nostril. Cover your right nostril, exhale left. This time cover left, inhale right. Cover right with thumb, exhale left. Cover left, inhale right. Cover right, exhale left. Keep right covered, this time inhale left. Cover left, exhale right. Cover right, inhale left. Cover left, exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Lower the right hand into the left. And inhale, fill your belly. Fill your chest and hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale, let it all go. Get rid of all the stagnant energy and then inhale. Hold for four, three, two, one, exhale. Inhale through the nose. Hold for four, three, two, one, exhale. Come back to your natural breathing. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart center and notice any differences in your body. Any changes, any subtleties. And then slowly bring your mind to an intention. The one I offer you today is the one of grounding. But grounding as you reach towards the heaven. Grounding as we look for expansion. Grounding as a way of rooting to reach even further and higher. So all together, whether you'd like to take this intention or devote this practice to someone or send someone loving kindness, Whatever it is, all together, we inhale and we open up, exhale. I can't hear you guys, but one more time, we're all going to do it together. Inhale, big open up, exhale. And then slowly bring your hands by your side, open your eyes in your own time. Remove the block from beneath your sits bones and make your way into a tabletop position, bringing shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. As you come in, you come through for a few cat fives. So making sure to push the top two feet into the earth, push the hands into the earth and spread the shoulder blades apart. We inhale to draw up the belly, letting it be soft as we lift the front of the head towards the sky. Exhale to curl all the way through, bring the navel to spine. Think about bringing the chest towards the chin for a cat. Coming through on your own inhales and exhales for a cat and cow. Moving at your own pace, at your own rhythm, whatever feels most comfortable for you. 
maybe even adding in a few arrow rolls with the chest. Really feeling into the body here. And then when we're ready, you're going to inhale to extend that right arm up in front of you and extend the left foot behind you. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower. Switch it out, reach the left one in front of you and the right leg behind you. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Come back to your neutral spine. And then inhale, lift that right leg, open up the right leg. So coming in to open up your right leg. Open up the right leg and then lower the right leg to the earth. Inhale to extend that right leg behind you. Exhale to lower it to the earth. Inhale, open up the hip. Exhale to lower the hip. Inhale to extend behind. Exhale to lower. This time we come into the left hip. So we inhale to open up the hip to the left. Lower the hip behind us. Inhale to extend that left leg behind us. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the left one out. Exhale, lower. Inhale, extend it out behind you. Exhale, lower. Shake it out a little bit, noticing any tightness in the upper part of the back. Because we're going to come in and we're going to thread the needle. So, pushing our hands into the earth, pushing tops of feet into the earth. And what I'm doing through the crown of the head a little bit more forward. Push into that left hand. Reach the right one open towards the sky. Keep your eye on that right hand and open from the, the torso, not just the arm. Inhale. Push through the left arm a little bit more. Reach that right arm a little bit higher towards the sky. Exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Maybe take a bind. Hold here for a few breaths. Lead all the way into your belly. And then inhale, reach that right arm up for the sky. Exhale, lower to thread it through. Don't lower though. Inhale, reach it back up towards the sky. And exhale to thread through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread lower all the way to the earth. Bring the Right arm to the earth, bring the right side of the head to the earth. Left hand comes up. Think about lengthening through the torso. Maybe you walk the right shoulder a little bit further up to get, give yourself a little bit more space here. And then inhale, lengthen through the front of the head. Breathe into the spine. And then as you exhale, open up a little bit deeper as you rinse the spine. Maybe you take your bind, bringing the top of your left hand to the inside of your right thigh, right hip. And then bring to lengthen on your inhale and to twist a little deeper on your exhales. Inhale, reach that bound arm to the sky, exhale to lower it, push into that left hand. Inhale, reach up towards the sky with the right one to go. Full opening of the arm and then exhale, lower me. Make sure to really milk it. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, thread through, but don't lower. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread through one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower, come on to that left arm. Remember to push the top of the left hand into the earth and then open up, maybe bend the elbow to twist a little deeper. Maybe walk yourself out a little bit more. And then reach that right arm towards the sky, bring the top of the right hand towards the left hip crease. And remember to move with the whole of the torso, maybe the head comes with you. Make sure it's not just the shoulder moving and we're stuck down here trying to open up. 
open up all the way through the whole of the chest and the body, breathing into everything as we twist and deepen. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach that right arm to the sky, exhale, lower it to the earth. Push into that right hand, reach the left arm high. Exhale, lower it to the earth. Take any, again, twists, movements, spiral rolls you might want or need. Take your, the top of the right hand to the earth and come in and come into those circles, maybe to the left and to the right. Really opening up the hands. And then close that right hand towards the front of the mat. Take the left hand, bring the top of the left hand to the mat and come in doing those circles over to the left. All right. From there, flip that hand over, flip the front of the mat again, push into the earth. Bring the toes towards the earth, push into the tops of the feet, and then lift yourself slightly. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one, lower. This time tuck your toes, send the heels back a little bit, and then inhale, lift up for five, four, three, two, one, lower. Untuck the toes, inhale, lift up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower, tuck, and then this time, really remembering the belly, keeping the feet, the knees don't need to come too high, they're just a little high, really push into the belly, length into the spine, four, three, two, one, lower, untuck. Take a few movements in the hip. And then tuck your toes and your hips back for your first time, downward facing dog. Remembering to pedal out your feet. From here, Bend the knees, look forward, exhale, walk your feet to the front of the mat, relax your head long, shake it out. And then when you're ready, bring your hands underneath your feet, leaning the weight back into the heels, and bring your hands underneath your feet to give your nice self a nice massage on your wrists. Bend your knees as you play as you need to bring your belly to your thighs. Shift the weight into the toes to really massage up both hands and the wrists. And then slowly, one foot at a time, untuck the hands from beneath the feet. Grab opposite uh, hand to opposite bicep and relax for your ragdoll. Shifting the weight between your feet. Evenly and equally as the torso hangs heavy and long, let the head go. Relax the trap muscles. Let the head have some space around the neck. Bring the weight maybe closer in towards the heel, from the heels towards the toes. Evenly, equally distributing the weight. And then slowly relax the arms. Inhale, sink you roll all the way back up. Bring the shoulders back and down. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Find your feet about hips width distance apart. Bring your hands out to your side for Tadasana Mountain Pose. Reach through the ring finger of your hand towards the earth. Open and up through the shoulder blades and coming into this position, thinking about lifting all of the toes from the earth and then gently lowering the toes from the outside all the way in. Coming in, feeling grounded and rooted through the feet, zipping up the midline, toning through the front of the legs, activating the quadriceps, the glutes, thinking about broadening through the chest. Reaching the crown of the head towards the sky as you allow the shoulders to become more expansive, allowing the trap muscles to come down the back. 
And then I want you to come back and imagine that flower at the base of your spine. And imagine your roots growing down through your feet into the earth. And then inhaling, reaching your arms overhead. Imagine a line of energy from your roots buried deep in the earth all the way through your hands towards your the heavens, towards the sky, going all the way through towards your fingertips. And imagining this big ball, golden energy in between your hands. Just imagining it, and then exhaling, lowering the hands by your side as you bring this ball of energy around you. Feeling it mellow and release everything in the body, wiggling everything out. And then we inhale to reach our arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center for prayer. Come through to forward fold all the way. Inhale to halfway, let's see your flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back for a high plank. From here, if you'd like, you can feel free to take your chaturanga on your knees. I'm going to show you once. So lowering the knees to the earth, you untuck the toes, and then chin and chest towards the earth. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it up for cobra. You stay in baby cobra if you want to start, so staying a little bit lower, maybe bringing the hands a little bit more forward, opening up through the shoulder blades. Exhale, send it back to tabletop, and then come in for your downward facing dog that way. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Full vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull from hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back for high plank. Exhale for chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale for downward facing dog. From here, I want you to lift that right foot towards the sky. Point your foot, point your foot, flex your foot. Rotate out the ankle as the foot extends back. Thinking about reaching that left heel maybe towards the back of the room, towards the earth. And maybe reaching through that right glute to send that right leg a little bit higher as you're rotating through your ankle. And then lower that right foot to the earth on your exhale whenever you're ready. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Point through the foot. Point through the foot, flex the foot, whatever you like, and then take some circles, equal directions, thinking about sending maybe that left foot, that right heel back towards the back of the room, bringing conscious awareness to all of the body parts, and then lowering that left foot towards the air, lagging out our dog a little bit, and then inhaling, moving forward, walking our feet mindfully towards the front of the room. Relaxing belly to chest and letting the head hang heavy. Inhale, stinky roll all the way up the seat. Let the shoulders come down and back. And inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, lower hands to the heart towards your fold. And inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. This time, inhale, step that right foot back. Lower that right foot towards the earth. And then inhale it up for Anjana Asana, low lunge. Remembering to push that flat foot into the earth and don't sit the foot in or out. Maybe we take a peek at it. Remembering to tuck the pelvis before sending it forward. Maybe the front knee comes over the foot from the ankle, past the toes, grab. We're going to inhale, but you can reach the arms overhead, taking a little bit of a mini back bend. Or if you'd like, just bring the hands towards the thighs, opening up chest towards the front of the room. Reach back and you take your quad stretch. And if this isn't enough of a stretch, you maybe you flex through the foot and pull it towards the glute that way. Taking a few inhales and exhales here, really allowing that hip flexor to relax and release. And the quads to release, breathing into that space. 
and then relax that foot behind you. Lower your hands to the earth. Tuck that right foot. Lift the knee. And then bring that right foot to the flat foot. Relax your head long. And then inhale, reach the arms overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach arms overhead, exhale, hands. Come through towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step that left foot back for that high lunge and then lower that knee to the earth. I'm tucking your toe. Make sure the back foot isn't sickling. And then inhale it up. And then from here, send the hips forward. Again, always an option if you'd like to bring those hands to the right thigh and making sure to push into the top of the left foot, scissoring the legs towards one another. And then when you're ready, maybe come a little bit more forward to reach back and grab that foot for your quad stretch. Remembering to keep the chest towards the front of the room. And don't let that left knee come in. Keep it open and out. So this and then slowly release it. Lower those hands to the earth. Tuck the back foot. Lift the knee. Send that right leg back. Exhale for your downward facing dog. And your downward facing dog. And if you'd like, you can do this on your knees. Downward facing dog is a lot for you. And we're just gonna inhale to extend behind us and exhale to round. So if you'd like, you can inhale to extend that right leg behind you. And then exhale, bring to nose. Shift slightly forward, maybe you come over your wrist. Inhale, send it behind you, exhale, right knee to right elbow or wrist, inhale, send it behind you, exhale, cross the body, inhale, send it behind you, exhale, lower it to the earth, inhale, lift that left leg to the sky, exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, again, maybe your shoulders come past your wrist, inhale, send it behind you, Exhale, left knee to left wrist or tricep or elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, cross the body. Inhale it behind you. Exhale, lower it. Wag your dog out a little bit. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to the front of the room. <laughs> Hop if you'd like. Relax your head, relax your neck. Shake your head out, yes. Nod it, yes. And then when you're ready, inhale, sinky roll it all the way back into standing, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time, inhale, bring your hands by your side for mountain pose, and then lift all of the parts of your, uh, lift all your toes from the earth. Push and then lower from the outside in. Push into both parts of the ankles, inside and out. Imagine a lot of energy of the inner parts of the thighs, the outer parts of the thighs. As it reaches up from that base part of your spine through the belly button up your chest, opening up to the sky, there's a string on the crown of your head that reaches you even higher, and as you inhale, you bring your hands to heart center, and come into your tree pose, however you'd like, thinking about maybe it's just sits on the earth next to the foot, and really concentrate on that opening of the hip like you did in the of class. Open the hip up, allowing for that space rather than bringing the foot too far, the knee too far in, in hopes of bringing it higher. And if you can bring it higher, bring it higher, and then reach the arms high overhead to build your tree. 
Imagining those roots in the earth, you could reach your hands high over the head, there's the heavens, growing and expanding as far as wide as you can. And then slowly lower your hands to your heart, return your legs to the earth, shake it out, and then send your weight over to the right hip this time, the right leg, so stacking your hip, your knee, your ankle, bringing hands to heart center, and then again, maybe the foot just comes to the earth and it sits at the ankle and you can squish it and you lift it a little higher up. Thinking maybe not about doing this or if we're trying to get it up doing something like this. Just coming into that natural, trying to lift up out of the hips, squeezing the right glute, keeping the hips relatively level. And then inhaling to reach and extend the arms above us. As we grow our tree once again, imagining the expansiveness of our leaves, finding our point of focus, and then slowly lowering our hands to our heart, releasing our foot, and then maybe wiggling it out just a little bit. Inhale, the arms overhead. And exhale to practice the arms and open up to the chest. And now we're going to over the head, exhale, practice, open up, send the hips forward. And now we reach up, exhale, practice, send the chest through, bring the shoulders to the another, and then inhale, reach the arms over the head. Exhale to forward, fold over the legs. Inhale to halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, fold bring your hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back. Exhale for your chaturanga. Inhale for your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward, we come into that warrior one, planting the back foot at a 45 degree angle, making sure that we are thinking more of train tracks than tightrope, so not too narrow in our stance so that we can't stand. Coming in, reaching the arms overhead, internally rotating through that back thigh, thinking about allowing the traps to just gently go away from the ears as we reach through that ring finger. And then exhale, fold over the legs, bring the hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back into that high plank. Exhale, send it back for your downward facing dog on this side. Inhale, lift that left leg to the sky. Exhale, send it through for that zero one. Again, lowering the back foot at a 45 degree angle, having a bend into the right knee. Find your feet first, inhale, lift up. Again, reach through the hands towards the heavens, use the crown of the head towards the sky. And think about not letting the knees sickle in or sickle too far out. Taking a big inhale into the belly and then into the chest. And then open up exhale. Take a big inhale. Exhale over the legs, bring hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back. Exhale for your chaturanga. Inhale for your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your feet forward. Relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, Slinky roll it all the way back up to standing. And then reach your arms overhead as you exhale for your forward fold. And inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold from hands to the earth. Inhale, step your feet back for your high plank. Holding your high plank, we're gonna lower halfway. And then we're going to hold there for about three seconds, and then inhale to lift back up and up. So lowering, we're gonna lower, hold here for three, two, one, and inhale, lift, nice. And then we're gonna do one more time, so exhale, lower, and then hold for three, two, one, push it back up, exhale, send it back, downward facing dog, nicely done. 
Inhale, shift it back forward. From here, we're going to take that right hand, tap the left shoulder, and then send the hips back, grab that left shin for the left calf. Inhale, lower that hand to the earth, and then shift forward. Get the left hand, tap the right shoulder, send it back, grab the right calf. You can bend the knees if you need to, maybe lift the heels a little bit, and then come back and hand to the earth. Inhale, shift forward into that plank. Right hand taps. Send it back. Right hand comes to left. Inhale, come into a twist to open up. Inhale, lower that hand to the earth. And then coming forward. Hold for your plank. Tap with your left hand. Send it back. Grab that right calf. Open up through the chest. And then lower that left hand to the earth. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the earth. Nicely done. Bring your hands like pillows underneath your cheeks. And then we're going to your legs back and forth. Send your legs along behind you. And then we're going to come and lift up into our sphinx pose. So bringing our hands actually to grab our biceps to kind of determine where and how wide they should be and then bringing the elbow underneath the shoulders we inhale to lift up and send the chest through remembering to make sure that we're not sickling our feet in or out the backs of the legs or the back the tops of the legs are active as well as the glutes inhaling to send the chest through and then exhaling to lower, bring up the hands to the right underneath the face. Bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs back and forward. This time, bringing the hands back to the earth. We're going to come up back into our forearm tabletop. So coming into tabletop, forearm tabletop. So. Again, hips over knee and shoulders. Well, the same shoulders over elbows. <laughs> and coming in, making sure that we're in proper line with the amount of space that we need, we're not too wide. And then bringing the hands onto the mat. A lot of the times what I like to do is, hopefully you guys can see this, I actually like to rotate my hands so they come onto the mat and then I push and I pull them in towards one another rather than letting them splay out, pulling them towards one another to give myself strength through the front of my chest. So coming into this position, we're going to come into that tabletop, take a few cat cows in our forearm tabletop. And then once we come back into cats, so when we have that really nice round cat spine, we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to walk our feet out a little bit to come into a plank on our forearms, making sure that our shoulders are over our elbows and we're nice and rounded to the upper part of our spine. And then we're going to bend our knees and walk our feet in for our dolphin um, Pose. So dolphin pose is a lot like downward facing dog. I know a lot of my students, we haven't really done this one before. But just thinking about relaxing through the neck, kind the back of the neck, not clenching through the jaw. And thinking about sending the heels towards the back of the room. Maybe you need to walk out your knees. Maybe a long stance. And then walking your feet all the way back out into that plank and then lowering to the earth. Really nice job bringing the left cheek to the hands of the mat, coming in and windshield wiper, bringing those legs back and forth. Beautiful job, guys. And then allowing the legs to go along behind you. Bring your hands so that they're a little bit upwards of the bottom part of the chest. And then we're gonna in and have to lift up for our baby cobra. Remembering to open up through the heads of the shoulders. Sending the chest all the way through. 
thinking about allowing the lower back to lengthen rather than just compressing. And then exhale lower, bring the right cheek to the mat, bend the knees. Windshield wiper, then back and forth. And then when you're ready, extend those legs out long behind you one more time. Bring the hands a little bit further back so that they're actually towards the bottom of your ribcage. Lift the shoulders first, and then energetically drag your hands backwards to send your chest forwards as you inhale to lift up for your cobra. And then exhale to lower all the way. Bring right, bring left cheek to the mat this time. Relax your arms long behind you. And when she'll lower your legs back and forth. Relax them all. And then one more time, we're going to bring my hands by our side. Inhale to lift up into your tabletop position, full tabletop, on your hands. We're going to have some fun with Vashisasana. So, going into this Vashisasana pose, we're going to walk our feet up behind us. I know we've been working on this one, so we're going to bring our feet over to the left side of the mat. And if this is difficult for you, please lower the left knee towards the earth. And then inhale to open up to the right hand. So you should come, and then if you'd like, you can stack. And from here, thinking once again about that tree, maybe we bring that foot to sit on the shin or the thigh, or maybe even just the ankle. If you'd like to get really fancy, maybe you lift the knee and you grab it with your right hand. And then extend it long. Come back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog, shake it out a little bit. And then inhale, shift forward. Come over to the right side. Open up. Again, you can lower with the right leg. And if you want, you can lift that left leg while you're lowered with the right leg. Try to keep an eye on that left hand as it lifts. And use the glutes to lift the left leg. You're coming into that true pose, try to move from the knee. Now we're going to be grabbing. Release that leg long. And then come back to center S. Held down on facing dog. Inhale, reach that right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to the wrist for pigeon. So you can come into your pigeon upright, at which point we can bring a block or a bolster or anything you'd like to sit underneath that hip bone, that hip if you need it, um, making sure that the back foot isn't sickled. And take your right hand, bring it to your right hip, take your left hand, bring it to your left hip. Take your right hip and you are opening up to the right hip and you send the left hip forward so the hip is squared towards the front of your room. Flex through the front foot, aka bringing the toes towards the knee, and then Hold over your legs from here. This is really uncomfortable for you. I'm going to show you guys right now how to do it on your back. So you can come onto your back for your pigeon if you'd like. So coming onto your back for your pigeon, you can inhale, reach that right leg towards the sky. And then bring that right ankle towards the left knee. So it should be uh, a little bit in the middle of the thigh. So taking your right hand, bring it to the inside of the right side. Take your left hand, bring it to the left hip, and then maybe create a little bit of space by pushing open that knee, and then reach through, grab the back of the left leg, and flex through both your feet, like you can lengthen through that left foot, but try to keep the head and the shoulders on the mat and nice and relaxed, no straining. Coming into our pigeon. Breathing into that space in our hip and our glute. Sending the air all the way into the deepest part of our wounds, into our bellies, into that hip flexor, into that glute, the quad, the entirety of the leg. 
Letting it relax. Letting it release anything that might be clinging to. We've all had a certain level of uncertainties past few weeks. Allow anything that you've been subconsciously storing in this place to release from your body. Allow it to be moved and transmuted from you into the universe to something positive. Send it all the way into the deepest part of Gaia through your rib, through your roots at the base of your spine and allow it to become something that is beautiful, whatever practice is most calling to you in this moment. Just imagining everything that's there, releasing and letting go. If you're on your back, I want you to stay there for a few more seconds and breaths. If you're on over your legs, I want you to very mindfully inhale to lift yourself up. Remove any cups or blocks. Toss that back foot behind you. And then send that right leg back. Maybe you need to open up the hip a little bit. Maybe you take a wild thing. Maybe some circles, whatever you like. And then you're going to inhale with that left leg to the sky. Exhale, send that left knee towards the left wrist to look through the pigeon on this side. Untuck your toes. Make sure your back foot isn't sickling. Again, lifting a little bit higher up. Take that left hand to that left hip, that right hand to that right hip. And then over it up and send it a little bit more forward. And then fold over the legs. Maybe you're adjusting with your props, adding anything that you might need. Thinking about inhaling to lift the chest a little bit more forward as you come and exhale a little bit more deeply over the legs. If you're on your back, so I want you to unravel and allow both the feet to come to the earth, knees pointed towards the sky. Inhale, lift the left leg towards the sky. Bring that left ankle over the left, over the right thigh. Take that right hand to the right hip bone the left hand to the inside of the left thigh and then please don't put it on your knee and then open up making sure that that right hip stays on the earth as the knee opens flexing through the right foot and then keeping the shoulders and the head relaxed not straining through the draw lift and reach towards the back of the right thigh flex the right foot thinking about once again sending breath and air all the way through the heart center, through our solar plexus, our sacral center, into that root, into that hip flexor, the glutes, allowing the quads to relax, anything in the hamstring that might be pulling. Bringing to mind our breath, letting it settle us into our bodies. Letting it allow us to release anything that shouldn't be lingering there. In our efforts to stay connected, even on the internet, much more than usual lately, picking up things from here and there. Allow anything that doesn't belong to you to be released. Maybe must we need clung to you and still scared in you. Imagine cutting the cord of that attachment as you take in fresh inhales of love and light, sending them through your centers into your roots, into the earth, allowing your body to be calm and relaxed. Breathing deeply into all of the spaces that haven't quite gotten there yet, but maybe still a little tight. It's okay, there's a lot going on. 
Forgive yourself if you're the type to be upset about something like that. And then when you're ready, if you're over your legs, I want you to very gently lift yourself up onto your hands. And then tucking the back toe, lifting the knee. Send that left leg behind you. And then open up again one more time and take whatever you need from it. Lower the knees to the, the earth once you're settled. And come cross the legs behind you. Come to a seated position and extend the legs on in front of you. If you're on your back, I want you to uncross your legs and bring your hands by your rib cage. So just tuck your chin and slowly lift yourself up to a seated position. Extending your legs long in front of you. And from here, we're actually going to do is bringing blocks wide on either side of our legs. We're going to come into starfish, extending our legs a little bit further in front of us than a typical Baddha And then inhaling, removing the flesh from beneath our sits bones. And then exhaling. Letting it all settle. Relaxing into this feeling, allowing the hips to just slowly open. And then exhaling to round forward. Whenever you're ready. If you have an extra block, you can bring them to sit in between your feet. Anything like that nature that you might like. If you have any pillows with you, please stand them underneath your forehead for full support. So just naturally open, and if you'd like, at any point in time, you can come through and remove your blocks and give yourself a little bit more space to open up. Maybe you just will, you push them out just a little bit more to give yourself some space, but still support yourself in some way. Remember to take deep breaths in through your nostril and send it into all of the areas of your body. And then you're going to inhale to lift it all the way back up. Extend both your legs long in front of you. Shake your legs out. Remove the flesh from beneath your sit bones. Inhale, lift that right leg. And try to keep yourself up, lift it up. So we're going to bring our hands by our sides. And after setting our leg, we're going to inhale to lift ourselves up. Dandasana. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Bring that right hand towards the earth. Wrap that left arm around that left thigh. Make sure that the left foot doesn't come in with you. So taking that left arm, wrapping it around the right thigh, and then push into the hand, maybe to lift yourself a little bit higher. And then exhale to twist just a little bit deeper. Remember, I need to keep the front foot flexed. Uh, allow, allowing and relaxing through the breath, letting the whole middle of the spine just go, imagining this beautiful light in your heart space, allowing you to soften and melt as you twist a little deeper. Imagine the connectedness of your roots towards your heart as it gives you this stability to turn just a little deeper. And then we inhale to come back to center. Extend the legs along the front. Shake them out. Bring that left leg in. Again, we bring hands by our sides on docks and we'll lift ourselves up. Flex through the front foot. Inhale, reach the arms high overhead. 
exhale to lower that left arm behind you, come and wrap the right one around, and then slowly turn the head and the chest, the torso, everything towards the left, making sure that the left foot, the right foot doesn't move towards the left along with it. Inhale and reach up through the crown of the head, fill the whole of the torso, the spine, and then exhale to bring it out just a little bit more. Coming back to that light, to that breath. And then inhale, come back to center, extend your legs long, shake them out one more time. Extend the legs along in front of you, maybe this time, if you have box or anything like that, you can bring them right underneath you your thighs. If you have a really nice Paschimottanasana and you don't need the support and you have very open hamstrings, you can feel free to take over the blocks. You can remove the flesh from beneath your sits bones to give yourself a nice openness in your sacrum. Inhale to lift your arms overhead and then exhale to forward fold over the legs, bringing your belly towards your thighs and your knee towards, your nose and your knee towards one another rather than thinking about reaching the crown of the head towards the Thinking about straightening the legs, using the top of the legs, so the quads rather than the hamstrings, allowing the hamstrings to relax. Send your awareness there as you send breath and love and into that space. Imagine that red light, the light from that red flower emanating through the roots all the way down your legs into the earth. Allowing anything that's carried in your hamstrings, anything that might be sitting in there from the day, we've been less mobile and active than we usually are. So just let any tension that might be holding on in that spot release. Give it the intention of release. Give it the mindfulness it deserves as you envision in your mind the action of release through the transmutation of the energy through your feet into the earth, allowing it to just release. As you come forward a little bit deeper, maybe you take the blocks out from beneath your legs. Set yourself up a little bit again, and then exhale to forward fold over the legs one more time, getting a little bit more space this time. Thinking about coming forward through the chest, and then exhaling to come forward. Anyway, you're going to inhale and simply roll it all the way back up. Inhale, reach the arms long overhead, bring them out in front of you, and then slowly slinky roll it one vertebrae at a time onto your back. Bring your feet towards the earth. Inhale, lift that right leg towards the sky, come over into your figure four or supine pigeon, and then bring that right foot towards the earth, bring the hands out to T, look over that right shoulder for your twist. Once again, allowing anything that might be caught up in your spine. And just slowly release using the breath. Allowing my brow to unfurl, the jaw to soften as you send gentle awareness towards your breath. And then inhaling, bring it back to center, lower both feet to the earth, and then reach that left one high, bring it across, and then bring the right, bring that left foot towards the earth and look over towards the left side. Making sure to keep both shoulders on the earth. And 
back to center, release your legs long. I'm going to actually give you guys a few different offers on how you can take Shavasana. If you'd like, you can bring a block right underneath your bra strap area so that it sits just underneath the top of the shoulder blades, bringing the block underneath the head come to our sported fish and allow the arms to come wide and open. And then bringing your feet to the earth, knees come towards one another if you'd like. Or maybe you let those legs go long or you come into Baddha Kanasana. This isn't for you. You can always come fully onto your back. And if you have any pillows, you can feel free to bring them beneath your knees so that you can relax. And slowly, in whatever position you choose, bring your awareness to your breath. And notice any changes from the beginning of our class. Noticing any differences in the way the body feels. shoulder blades separate just a little bit further away from each other. And the palms stretch out a little, a little bit further away from the body as you fully expand and the full expression and take up as much space as you need. Being unafraid to take up space stable and rooted through our bodies, no matter what may be happening in the external world, we imagine this beautiful flower at the base of our spine that we brought attention to, and maybe the shape of it has changed as you become more in tune with your breathing, more in tune with your body, more in tune with your inner self, your inner sense of awareness, connectedness. And bringing your attention to this flower, you imagine that a beautiful light is emanating from it, and it slowly makes its way into your right hip flexor. And it just fills it with this feeling of melting into the earth of oneness. And then that feeling moves along with the light into your right kneecap. And then from your right knee into your shin and then your calf, your ankle. Moving from the ankle into your heel, your foot, your toes. Starting from that space, that flower once again. It moves into the right psoas, the right oblique muscle, the right side of the torso, all the way to the chest. 
takes over the whole shoulder, it moves into the back of the body, into the back of the chest, across the back of the shoulder blade, releasing any tension that might be held there in this time. Into that rotator cuff, the bicep, the tricep, the elbow, the forearm, the wrist, fingers, all the way to the tips. All the way to the tips of them. Releasing, melting, melting into the earth. And then we come back to that flower, that light, full hours. It's coming from the earth, from the source, and it moves its way into the left hip flexor, the thigh the knee, the shin, the calf, the ankle, the foot, all the way to the tips of the toes. Bringing this feeling of groundedness, of heaviness in the body, stability, safety. It then moves its way into the left psoas the left oblique, the whole of the left torso, the chest, the back of the chest, the rib cage fills all the way into that shoulder, the bicep, the tricep. The elbow. We bring awareness to each of these spaces as they melt and they melt into the earth as they get heavier and heavier. The forearm, the wrist, the hands into the fingertips.
slowly bringing awareness back into the body, wiggling fingers, toes, allowing the body to slowly lighten. Remember this peacefulness as we slowly reach our arms overhead like we just woke up for the first time. And slowly moving over onto our left side, our lunar side. We push in that right hand to lift ourselves up into a seated position, maybe keeping our eyes closed. Inhaling, we bring our hands to our heart center in prayer. As we come back to the intention that we set at the beginning of practice. May your roots always be deeply in the earth while you reach your hands towards the sky as you expand your heart ever forward. All together as a group, we're going to take a big inhale. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale. Big open mouth exhale. Let's go one more time all together. Inhale. Big open mouth exhale. Letting it all go, letting it all out. Delight in me honors the light in each and every single one of you. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy. May all beings be free. Bringing our hands to our third eye. In honor of your practice, we bow. Namaste.